Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we learned how to integrate Power Automate in SharePoint Online to create workflows. We discussed how Power Automate workflows work. We created an automated workflow to send notifications when an item is added within a list. And we also talked about the automate feature in SharePoint Online. In this particular video, we will create some more complex workflows in SharePoint Online using Power Automate. We will learn how to create flows manually. We will create condition based flow and approval based flows using Power Automate. In the last video, we created a flow using pre built templates in SharePoint Online. Now, let me show you how we can create Power Automate flows manually. In my SharePoint site, I have a list with name new joiners where we add the details of the new employees. And I will use this particular list to create Power Automate flow. This is just an example. You can use any list or items for this particular flow. So let's go to integrate Power Automate and click see your flows and you will be redirected to Power Automate Admin Center. So in this example, we are going to create a flow that when a new employee is added within this list, the flow will send a notification to a particular user and it will send a notification to a Teams channel so that everyone within our organization is aware that we have a new employee in our organization. So to create a flow in Power Automate, click New Flow and select Automated Cloud Flow. And let's give it a name. For example, Custom Flow. So first, we will add SharePoint site and the list within the flow. So here, we will type SharePoint. Now here you will see all the flows or the triggers that you can select. And for our scenario, we are looking for when an item is created. So click on this and click create. So this is our first trigger. That means this flow will run when an item will be created within the SharePoint site list. Click on this and on the left, you will see site address. Click on the drop down arrow, select the site name. Our site name is IT. So select IT and under list name, you will see the list of all the list. Those are available within this particular site and the list that we need is new joiners. So select new joiners and that's it. So our trigger is ready. Now we need to select an action that what we want this flow to do when an item is created within the list. So to add an action, you will click plus and click allow and click add an action. So the action will be to send email notification to a user. So here we will search for Outlook and next to Outlook, click see more. So these are all the actions that you can use within this particular flow. So we will select send an email because we want to send an email notification. Under to field, we will type the name of the user to whom we want to send the email notification. So let me type Bob Ross and you can add multiple recipients also. Then we have subject. So subject will be we have a new employee joint and let's compose the body so body will be hi everyone we have a new employee joint now here we can add the name of the new employee as well i'll tell you how to do it so you will click on here on this icon and here you will look for name select name and you can look for last name as well and like this so hi everyone we have a new employee first last name joined 
Now the first and last name that we have selected here, this will be fetched from this list. In this list, we have columns like first name, last name, and if I will add new employees details, the flow will fetch the information from this particular list. So the name that we have selected here, this is the first name column and last name is this column. So it will look like, hi everyone, we have a new employee, first name, then last name, then joined. So our action is also ready. Now let's test this flow. To test a flow, first you need to save it. And at the top right, click test, select manually and click test. So here you can see this flow is running. And as soon as we will add an item within the SharePoint list, this will show us if this flow was initiated successfully or there was any error within the flow. So let's go back to SharePoint list and let's add a new item here. So for example, we have a new user with name John Smith, for example. And let's add his mobile number. And let's say he is part of network team. Click exit grid view. And let's go back to Power Automate. And here we can see the flow has completed successfully. And we can also see how much time was taken on each particular stage of this flow. So the trigger took three seconds and the action took nine seconds. And we have one email notification here as well. And here we can see, hi everyone. We have a new employee, John Smith joined. So we can see here, John is the first name and Smith is the last name. And same thing we can see here. Now let's add few more actions within our flow. Now what we want to do, when a new employee details are added within the list, Bob Ross will receive an email notification. Also, a notification should be sent to the Teams channel. So we will add one more action within this flow. So to do this, go back and click edit. And we will add one more action. And here we will look for Teams. And next to Microsoft Teams, click see more. Now here you can see a list of actions that you can integrate within this particular flow. But for our scenario, we need one flow or one action that says post message in a chat or channel. So click on this. On the left, under post in, we will select channel. And under team, we will select a team, let's say org team one. This is an organization wide team. So all the users of my organization are added within this team by default. And under channel, we will select one of the channels, let's say announcement. And the message will be, hi everyone. We have a new employee. And here we'll select the first name and last name. So let's type name, space, last name, joined. So this action is also ready. And now let's test this flow again. So let's save the flow. And click test manually test. Now let's go back to SharePoint site list and let's add a new item. So this time, let's say we have a new user concept user. And let's add the mobile number. And let's say he belongs to server team exit grid view. Let's go back to flow. 
so our flow was successful and we can see the time taken by each trigger and each action to run now let's go to bob ross mailbox we can see we have received the notification hi bob ross we have a new employee concept user joint and let's go to teams and we have org team one announcement and here we have hi everyone we have new employee concept user joined now let's create a bit more complicated flow using power automate let's go back and click edit let me close this screen so we will use conditions and approvals within the flow let's go back to the sharepoint site so here we have a column with name department so we will create a condition that if the new employees department is network then an approval will be sent to a manager of the network team and if the new employees department is server then the approval will be sent to the manager of the server department and if he approves it then the item will be added within the list as approved or denied so first i'll create a new column within this list click add column and i'll select choice and click next now if you're not aware of the data types that you can see here single line of text multiple lines of text number choice if you're not aware of these data types you can refer to the previous video where we talked about metadata in sharepoint so in this scenario first let me give it a name approval so type will be choice now in this scenario i need only two choices either approved or denied and let me change the color also denied should be red and approved should be green that's it and let's turn this option on require that this column contains information and click save and after this all the items those are already added within this list for these items by default i'll make it approved and click exit grid view now let's go back to power automate and let's add one more action click plus add an action and here we will look for condition because now we are going to involve conditions within this flow so under control select condition so now we have a condition within our flow if the condition is true the flow will go this way if the condition is not met the flow will go this way so here where it says choose a value click this icon and look for department and is equal to server so this is our condition if department equals server then what we want to do so under true if the condition is met if the department is server so here we will add an action click plus add an action under add an action we will look for approval and here we will select start and wait for an approval approval type will be approve or reject first to respond and title let's make it approve the request assigned to so if the condition is met if the department is server so let's say we want to send it to bob ross let's type the complete email address so we have the user here now the next thing that we need to do here is we will add one more action within our flow that will add a value within the sharepoint site list under approval if the request is approved the flow will automatically add a value approved if the request was rejected so it will select as or it will set as denied let's go back to power automate and under this particular condition or the action 
we will add one more action so click plus and click add an action we will add one more condition so let's look for condition so this is a nested condition condition within condition so our condition will be if the value outcome equals to approved so this is our condition and we will add one more action and the action will be update item and click update item under site address we will select the address of our site it and under list name we will select the name of our list new joiners and id will be the id of the list now what you need to do you will click on this icon and here look for id or you can see here as well so click on this and next to advanced parameters click show all scroll it down and under approval value select approved so as of now our flow is when we will create a new item within our sharepoint list it will send an email to bob ross an email notification then it will post a message within the teams channel and based on the condition if the department name is server it will send approval request to bob ross and if the request is approved it will update the approval column within the sharepoint list with approved value so as of now our condition is if the outcome of the approval is approved it will update the item and if the request is not approved so what we want to do so for that we will add an action here click plus and click add an action and we will update the same settings that we have added under true so look for update item here select the site name it and new joiners id will be the list id and click show all here under approval value this time we will select denied so now the flow is if the condition is met the flow will update approved value under approval column and if the condition is not met then it will update denied value and now we are left with one more action if you go up here we have a condition that says if the department is server it will send a notification to bob ross but if department is not server then what do you want to do so here under false we will create one more action click plus and click add an action now here you can add an action like if the department is not server you want to send approval request to someone else or to the manager of another department or the request can be approved automatically so let's add the same action like we did here so here search for approval and select this start and wait for an approval approval type will be approve or reject first to respond and title will be approve this request and assign to this time i want to send this request to me concepts user which is the admin account and rest of the fields are not required so that's it our flow is ready save the flow and let's test it manually and click test so let's go back to sharepoint site and let's add two more items so let's say we have a new user with name user a let's add mobile number and he is part of server team and we have one more user user b and this user is part of network team and click exit grid view so for the server department 
the approval request will go to Bob Ross and for the network department the request will go to admin and let's go to Bob Ross mailbox so we can see the notification is received we have notification for both users user a and user B because the first action within our flow is send a notification to Bob Ross when a new item is added within this flow and then the flow will send a notification within the team's channel and we can see we have received two notifications one for user a and second for user b and bob ross has received one approval request also he can click approve to approve the request or he can reject the request as well and let's go to this admins mailbox because for network team this particular user will receive the request and he has received the request as well so let's approve it let's add the comments submit so the request is completed it is approved and let's say for bob ross we will deny this request or we will reject so that we can see if our flow is working properly or not so let's click submit and this particular request is rejected and let's go back to SharePoint site list so let me refresh this page and we can see the approval is updated we can see one request is approved and other request is denied which was not approved by Bob Ross so this is how you can use power automate to create workflows in SharePoint online so that is all for today if you learned something new from this particular video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video